Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel and another vlog. And today is going to be day... <sighs> Should have looked this up before I got on here. I think we're on day 13. We are on day 13, post-op of my mommy makeover. Um, if you've been following along, you know that I went through a surgery and everything's going well. Everything is going very well. Um, the only thing I have to say like today and yesterday that I've done differently is I've gone back to wearing this horrible binder on top of my compression. Um, the only reason is when I'm up and I'm active, the pulling sensation that I'm having right here is still super, super bad. So until that just loosens up and I can work it out and I just heal more, sometimes wearing this binder feels really nice because there's an extra piece of Velcro under here that I can put really tight and it just holds that spot. Um, I have enjoyed that because the compression garment they gave me and I actually just bought a second one, it's honestly just like Spanx. That's all it is, Spanx you wear underneath your clothing. And to me, for some reason, I feel like it's just not enough support. So I feel like this is better. I'm actually thinking about, I'm looking into buying one of those um, binders or whatever they're called, but it's got like the three rows of hooks. So you can go smaller, smaller as you need more compression or you just start to get small, like your fluids, like you're not bloated or anything. One day you can go a little tighter. I kind of want to get one of those because I think those would lay a whole lot flatter because this right here, like this flap, it's just, it's bulky. It's so bulky. Like to try to wear it under your clothes, impossible. Um, but I can definitely wear it under, I can wear it under like big baggy sweatshirts, t-shirts, but the pants I'm having the issue with. I'm not in jeans yet. You can't wear jeans yet. So I'm still having to just manage with like sweatpants and things like that. Like today I'm going to wear these. These are the ones I bought on Amazon, those cargo pants. And um, the binder's probably not going to go underneath these. Just because like I said, it's just so bulky. Um, another thing I've noticed is I'm not a fan of wearing shirts yet. Um, I think just because everything's still kind of sensitive and I prefer to just wear sports bras or tank tops things like that. Um, like today, we're going to the soccer game. Bradley has a soccer game today. And I want to go. I had debated, should I? Should I not? Should I just give myself a few more days? Um, because walking is still, I can walk, but like long distances wears me out. It does. And the soccer field she's on is like, you know, way back in the back. But I think we can do it. We're just gonna take our time and um, we'll try to rest as much as I can before the soccer game. I did get up this morning to take a shower, so that's probably the worst thing I could have done before a soccer game, just because taking a shower wears me out. But I will say, today I have noticed I feel more straight, like more straight up. I felt faster in the shower. I don't know if I was faster. I really didn't time myself, but it felt quicker. I felt like I didn't have to sit as much when I was getting dressed. So I know things are heading in the right direction. Um, I still sit down to like blow dry my hair just cause it takes so long. And um, like doing my makeup, I'll sit down and do a lot of that. But then some of that I even stood up for today. Um, super itchy, still super itchy. The tape is starting to come loose and the tape comes off next week, yes. I get to take my tape off. I am not looking forward to it. I've already been like on the internet looking at videos how to remove this tape, and I can't find any. There were people have taken them off and like actually shown them taking it off. So I guess it's something that shouldn't be shown, but it's, it would be a very educational thing to have on the internet. I wish they did. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? Nothing to show so Oh, welcome to me. Good morning, everybody. I feel like you have not seen Aiden in so long. And look how tall he looks to me. This is him, now I'm not standing fully up. Oh, I can't do it, it hurts too bad. But, he's pretty tall, you guys. <laughs> he's getting pretty tall. Oh my God, take your Zyrtec before we leave. Oh yeah. We're on a grass field today, you will be. Okay, well, let me just tell you real quick what happened. So Aiden had um, Aiden had his first hockey practice this week and loves his team, loves his coach, and super excited for the season. He made advanced, I think I told you guys that. Um, but he came home that night and literally had his pizza and he took one bite and then went straight to bed. 
and then he woke up around midnight and um, was crying and his head was peeled in. But the pollen, the pollen you guys, if you don't deal with pollen where you are and it's not that bad, be thankful because here where we are, it is extremely horrible. We had a huge rainstorm though, so I'm hoping that washed a lot of it away. But um, when I say the pollen has been unreal, it has been unreal. And Aiden suffers from seasonal allergies. He suffers from a lot of allergies, but mainly pollen, grass, that type stuff will, will tear him up to where he gets migraines, throws up. It was so bad the other night, he got sick five or six times throughout the whole night. Um, it was so pitiful. I felt so sorry for him, and me and Barry were up all night with him. Barry finally went in there and just laid with him on the floor because I really, I got down there and I massaged his head and stuff, but after a few minutes, I was like, oh, my stomach's killing me. So Barry went in there and laid, and then Aiden got into bed that morning, and his game was that next day, and um, he slept until on this lunch, and I looked at Barry, I was like, he's not going to make it to his game, so we just need to go and let his coach know it's not happening today. But they won. They won 6-2, to two, so that was good. Um Oh, did they really? Oh, cool. His friend's team. Yes. Um, next week, mm -hmm. guess who's not going to be there? Who? I heard you saying there's a bunch of people not going to be there. Grayson, Beckett, and Kyle aren't going to be there. Yeah, see, he's like, he's like, wait, I'm not playing their team next week, am I? Mm -hmm. I, I said, I said, I, I said, no, it's so. the next week. He, yeah. said, he said, oh, okay, thank goodness, because we're going to be missing like three people. Today. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't go um, to Aiden's game because Aiden didn't go to Aiden's game. I was planning to go if I felt good enough. It's just, honestly guys, I'm taking it day by day. There are some days I feel fantastic and I'm like, let's, let's go somewhere, even though I normally don't. I just want to get up and get dressed. Then there's some days I'm like, I just need to take the day. So I'm just trying to listen to my body and take it as it comes. I didn't post a vlog on Saturday. Um, so if you guys have noticed that vlogs have, I'm not saying been hit or miss, but like Saturdays are so crazy for us, just trying to get things done, get dressed, get there, get here, whatever, that I decide I'm probably gonna take off Saturdays until I'm back 100%. So I'm hoping to keep my vlogs up Monday through Friday and then we'll get back on that Saturday train soon, I promise. Um, but yeah, it's just been taking it day by day. Like I said today, I feel like I'm standing up straighter. I don't, I mean, granted my shoulders, yeah, I could go up a little more. I could, but like I said, the pulling is real, but with this binder, I'm able to do it. Now, when I take this binder off, I'm more sore, um, so then I start to notice myself kind of like, whew, okay, let me, let me take a break, so then I'm more back to this, but I can stand up straight. I do notice when I'm really straight, I go forward at the bottom, like I tilt my pelvis, and I've got to learn to quit doing that. Um, but it's all in time and my doctor's office said they didn't expect me to be standing up straight completely this week If I am great if I'm not it's fine as long as you look pretty straight That's all they want because it's just gonna get better over time um, But something I was looking into I was like will you ever get the arch in your back back? Let me tell you why when I stand to the side you probably can't tell there's like I'm just completely flat like straight like I used to have a curve in my back and then it went down to my bottom is completely straight and somebody says you definitely have to work on that curve again so I was like oh that's just fantastic so now I really got to figure out some stretches to get that back later not right now um, but anyway Briley has ran to Kayla's she drove over there to get her hair braided and we're getting ready to eat some lunch as you can see there's a Bojangles bag on the bed we're getting ready to eat um, I'm going to figure out if I'm wearing this today or not I don't think I am I think I might I think I might hold off on it um, just so I can get my pants on and it's more comfortable, but if I try it and I'm not digging it I might just put this on and have to deal with it. Anyway, I'm rambling you guys So I'm gonna get off here eat some lunch um, If I can think of anything else to go with my update, I'll let you guys know but other than that That's what's going on today We're about to go to a soccer game Doesn't Riley's hair look cute? Kayla did her hair for her so it's all ready for the game But what are we doing right now besides eating Bojangles? <laughs> Watching Chris's game. Yep, Chris's game is on. We're gonna watch a little bit before we have to take off. Um, but yeah, you want to tell them how this has gone so far because I haven't updated at all. So Chris is at Nationals, and they had three games. They won all three of those. 
So now today they're at semifinals, and then tomorrow is like the championship to see if like they win. If they make it that far, <clears throat> they if have they win to today. win today's game. Yeah, so we're praying that they win. Today. It's just, it's stressful. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm stressed out. Like I'm glad Bradley has a soccer game today, but part of me wants to stay home and watch this game. Did you see that? No, what was it? That was so cool. What was it? I missed it. But also, like the puck came at his feet, and he mm-hmm. like twisted his feet this way, and mm-hmm. it like hit the puck perfectly, and like. Oh, it was really cool. No, you have to it. see it. It's hard to explain. But yeah, so we're getting ready to watch a little bit of this. Um, we can watch maybe if they start on time, we can watch about an hour. <gasps> His stick. Did you see that? <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, so we're gonna watch a little bit of this. So let's wish them all luck, guys, and let's hope they win. So currently, we're Lies getting ready to front. leave, and the score is, is, redirection. I think you it is a zero to three, three so we are winning. We are up right now, but you we're getting ready to leave. We can't watch the rest of the game, down. except in the car. can watch yeah. some of it. We're going to watch yeah. it in the car. So, real quick, oh, tell you guys what I did. I was wearing my binder. You know, I told you, you know, about my binder. Really I, this is what I got on today. Nothing fancy, just some big old jogging pants, and this is Briley's little jacket, and then I've got on my top. But what I did under here... Is if you can see, yeah, I, I have this I stuff like this. Yesterday. You know, this is like wrap. It it's just awesome wrap, and it only goes to like right here, right, right there. So it's about this this wide. I put wrap right there, and I don't know if that's gonna mess anything up. I wouldn't think so because I'm only gonna wear it while we're at the soccer field, and then I'll take it off. But I had to put something because I just need some kind of support right here. So that's what I've done, and we're getting ready to go watch a soccer game, and let's see how this holds up. And it's not tight for here, so I don't think it'll give me any indentions, but it might. So I feel like once I take it off, I may just have to chill without it later. But I, for the soccer game, I'm going to try this because I just need a little bit of support right here in my belly. But anyway, we're off to the soccer game, having to leave, because if we don't go now, we're going to be late. We've made it out here to soccer, and this is our team right here. But um, Briley's over there on the other team because the other team only had four girls show up. So we had to pull our players to put over there so we could actually have a game. This means these girls are going to be exhausted because there's not enough to sub out. So I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll see. It's going to be just a scrimmage, yeah, but they're still going to play full time. Right, Lil? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so zoomed in. Look. Yeah, so anyway, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we're out here. It's a beautiful day. Just kind of a little chilly and windy. What? You know, I have no idea why they're not here. But how did only four girls show up? Yeah, how, how, did, how did only four gr- girls show up out of all of them? I don't know, it's crazy. Oh, and the update. What's the update on the score for hockey? 6-0, game over. Game's over. Okay, they won. So Chris's team add. won. They're going to the final. Look at her in the Moby Rep, you guys. <laughs> she looks so huge know, compared to like babies. Oh, That's like about 33 pounds though. I believe it, absolutely. <laughs> I used to put Aiden on my side in one. Cause he was so heavy, I carried him in the side. Remember that sling, the black yeah. and white one? So he could sit on my hip. This is like a lot comfortable though, more so than holding her. Oh no, for sure. I'm gonna start doing this when we go to the grocery store. Cause she's been like not wanting to ride in the cart. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know that. Do it if she'll chill. In the bunny batter milkshake? Yeah, so the bunny batter milkshake is typically our cake batter um, with cream and then our little Easter egg uh, sprinkles, but we can change whatever flavor for the base of the shake if you'd like. Okay, it's cake batter. Three of those. Can I get three of those? Small. I'm sorry, what flavor? 
Uh, can I get three of the um the um the bunny batter? The bunny batter? Yeah, what size? Um, smalls. Here's my little treat. Whoa. This is what we got. It's called the bunny what? Batter. Bunny batter. It's so cute. And is it good? Aiden's already said it's great, didn't you, Aiden? That is so good. Good. Poor Briley's missing out because she wants Sonic. <laughs> How is it? It's good. You make it sound like it's not. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Oh, you know how cake batter is normally sweet, sweet? Yeah. But it's got a lot of flavor. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a picture of it. It's still pretty. I mean, it's still good. I think they just maybe put too much milk or something in mine. All right. So, we stopped at Sonic, and Barry got a corn dog, although we're going to get dinner. Sorry, I'm sitting here eating on a stick. You're fine. Barry got, I mean, not Barry. What's your name? Your name's Briley. Briley got uh, mozzarella sticks because she's hungry because she played a game. Aiden got a cheese top because he just wanted to eat. Yep. That's and I didn't I get anything. But would you like to show your cheese pull? Well, let's see if we can get a good cheese pull. Let me try to zoom in. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. We're on the way to get dinner. That is the plan. And I'm ready to be home because I'm gonna be honest with you, the right hand side of my lower abdomen is kind of hurting a little bit. Just a little bit. I think it's just from all the moving and sitting and standing and walking. I mean, I felt like we were running. Kayla goes, Mama, I'm so sorry. I didn't think about it. She said, you probably thought we were running. I said, oh, I kind of felt that way, but I was just trying to keep up. But yeah, Barry was talking to me and I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I heard what he said, but I could not focus on what he said because my stomach was hurting so bad. I felt like there were so many people behind us and I felt pushed to get out. And it was like this one little walkway and I was like, oh my gosh. So then Aspen kind of vomited a little bit because Kayla heated her milk up before they left the house. And we're assuming that's what it's from. So we had to pull over to like clean her up and clean Briley up. And I was like, I'm so glad y'all pulled over for a minute because I felt like my stomach was gonna rip open if y'all didn't stop. But I'm um, proud of myself though. Got out of the house, went to the game, did something. And I don't feel like super tired. I'm just sore, so that's good. Just finished up dinner <clears throat> and it was fantastic. We got steaks tonight to go. I'm so full though. I have got to keep telling myself and I don't. I'm just eating like I'm used to the way I normally eat, which is a lot of food. I've got to tell myself, girl, you don't need to eat so much at one time. Like, take your time. If you have to eat half your meal now and half of it later, do that. Because what happens is I eat, 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 and it's just so good. And then it hits, and I'm like, oh, that, that feeling of, oof, I ate way too much. So... I've really got to fix that. <clears throat> That's something I'm going to work on. Um, it was just so good tonight. Honestly, today, I've not ate that much. So if I gave you a rundown of my food, you'd be like, oh, you didn't eat anything. And I really didn't. But I'm not working out either. I'm not very active. I had um, a large potato round <laughs> this morning. I didn't eat them all. I had that with a yogurt. And then that was kind of my lunch, honestly. We went there. Bojangles kind of like, it was late. It was almost lunchtime. So I had that. And then we had that milkshake you saw, and then I just had steak, baked potato, and salad. Or not baked potato, mashed potatoes and salad. It was so good, but I just feel so, so full. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to sit back and rest for a little bit. I'm feeling super sleepy right now, and I think it's because we've just been so busy today. And, like, my energy is better. It's so much better. But it's not 100%, I know that. And I really am not expecting it to be, so I'm not saying I am, but... I'm ready for it to be back because I want to be like up and busy and get my stuff done. But right now, I literally could lay back and probably take a nap. Will I? Probably not. But if I fall asleep, I'm not going to be mad at myself. Um, but Chris and them did win their game today. Did I tell you that? I feel like I said that earlier. I did say that earlier, so you already knew that. Tomorrow is going to be finals for him, and we're going to sit right here in the comfort of this bed and watch finals. And hopefully they win. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll come back if something else happens, but hopefully I don't fall asleep. If you don't see anything else, then you know what happened. That means I feel